In day-to-day -day life, the mobile security is becoming the hottest topic. This is because, we usually store family photos, pictures of pets, passwords, and much more security information. For attackers, these items are a digital passport to access everything they would need to know about a person. This is why attacks on mobile devices and applications are on the rise. These days, Android is being the leading mobile operating system in the market, it has a huge user base, and lots of personal as well as business data is being stored on Android mobile devices. Android, being the platform with the largest consumer base, is the obvious primary target for attackers. So we will be going explore various attack vectors in order to help developers and penetration testers, as well as end users, understand Android security and its fundamentals. In order to get hands-on experience, you need a few software like Burpsuit, Aptool, Dex2Jar, JDGUI, Drozer, Goatroid App, QARK, Cedia Substrate, IntroSpy, Sposed Framework, and Frida. If you like to install them separately on any operating system either Windows or Linux, you can find the steps of installation on this same playlist, click the I button to find them all. Otherwise, there is an operating system named Santoku Linux that is focused on mobile forensics, analysis, and security. It is always suggested to all of my viewers not to install the Santoku Linux as your native operating system. So install it on virtualization software like VMware or VirtualBox to prepare for network-level attacks on Android devices. Let's take a look at its installation steps and overlook its basic scenarios. Firstly, visit its official web page and download the ISO image. Open VirtualBox and click on Create New. Give a name, select the type of the operating system, and also select the version. Click Next and allocate the size of the memory. Click Next and choose Create a Virtual Disk Now. From here choose the hard disk file type and click on Next. From here set the size of the disk and then click on Create. Once a new virtual machine image is created, upload the disk image file to storage on settings. Click Start to boot the virtual machine and then choose Install and hit Enter. Choose your preferred language and continue. This screen provides a piece of information about Santoku Linux. For better performance checkmark on install this third-party software and click on continue. From here select the installation type to erase the disk and install Santoku. From here you no need to change anything else, so click on install to start the installation. The installation started in the background, no need to worry about it. So we proceed with further steps. From here, select the country, and click on continue. Now choose your keyboard layout and continue. Provide the name and password. Now click on continue. Wait till the end of the installation, it might take time depending upon resources allocated to VM. Now, the installation is complete. So we need to restart the computer in order to use the new installation. Now log in with the password. After installation, our first priority is to install the VirtualBox Guest Box Edition. Before that let me update the repository using the sudo apt get update command. If you got something like this error, you have to update the Ubuntu distribution. It will take time to complete the installation.
From the menu bar at the bottom section, click on Device and insert Guest Edition CD image. Open the CD image in File Manager. Now open the terminal by pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus T. Change the directory to the CD image. Now run the VirtualBox Linux Edition script to complete the initialization. After completion, reboot the system. Reboot completed. As you can notice the login screen appearance fully changed. So login again. Since each vulnerability analysis area requires different tools to examine the security configuration of the application, the tools of Santoku are categorized into five areas. They are development tools, device forensics tools, penetration testing tools, reverse engineering tools, and wireless analyzers tools. In my upcoming videos, we will be going to demonstrate them separately. If you have any doubts or queries related to this video, then write them in my comment section.